I think the Heat need to be in this convo because again, the hypothetical is pointing on the Heat beating mm-hmm. Boston first right. round. That's an indictment on how whack the Celtics are, though. Like, if the Celtics go right. out, the first you round, can say that. Yeah. yeah, that is. I right. hardly believe if they beat uh-huh. the Celtics, it has way more to do with the fact that someone doesn't show up in, in the Celtics' victory. And of course, the Heat are going to play well. You're going to have to have that yeah. X factor play to chat. Like, like the Heat are going to wait, Damo, for the second year in a row, Damo, for, for the, the second, second year in a row. Year in a row. Like, back to back, back, year, back, to back years. Yeah, yeah. Guys are going to have to play great. Don't get me wrong. But it's going to yeah, be sure. way more. The Celtics sold the back. The Celtics lost the games versus the more Heat. More than the Heat. The okay. Yeah. okay. But, 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 but listen, listen, though. Right, right, right. You can say that, right? But at the end of the day, if you're the Miami Heat, the reason why people even think you're in that conversation is because of all these other teams, you're the one that's most familiar with the Boston Celtics. You're the one that has and they got that the guy coach in their roster. Who, who many people think is the best coach in the NBA. They got you're the, the team the that has all of these pieces that can, you know, we've seen Butler be able to perform in a series where he can outperform Giannis or some top-tier guys. So them beating the Celtics, even though they're not favored to do it, is not a surprise if it happened, right? Think so, about what you just said. <laughs> the fact uh, that they are the eight seed for the second year in a row, yeah. and the way that they would have to play in order to beat Miami for the second year in a row, even and as I would the not be surprised, seed, right? The fact that you I would be not surprised, be surprised. I'm in the matrix. I got to be. Eric Spoelstra is like that. Also, more than anything, I'm looking at matchups because again, AC, all the other shit, fine, cool, right? Like the Heat have been easily one of the most injured teams for all regular season. They have right. not had consistency. Terry Rozier has had to play himself into where he's at now. Fine, whatever. I, I get all that. My bigger point is the Heat matchup wise, fundamentally, understand what Boston wants to do. They have a familiarity sense with Boston, right? Now, the execution in terms of what they want to get to, the Heat also know what they want to do. And if Jimmy is, is playing at that, you know, peak level, he gives them a shot to beat the Celtics. That's at least what would be required for them to get over that hump. So sure. that's why I'm saying on paper, I <laughs> wait, can wait. see it because, hey, again... Gifted, hold on. Gifted, we talked about this last year. We did. Do you think... This, do you do you predict the Celtics are going to maintain a plus 11 or let's say even a plus 7 level of dominance in the Eastern Conference this year, do you expect them to be able to plus eleven is a that? lot? Well, even plus I, seven. The, the Nuggets were plus nine last year, so I'm saying, do you? Okay. They were, and I think the Celtics were plus six. Do you expect them to be able to maintain like a plus seven level of dominance, like over the course of the Eastern Conference? Well, yes, I think so. I think based on the conference, yes. But I'm telling you, the the only team that I shift that for in the East for me is Percy Miami. And it's mainly because they understand exactly what Tatum and Brown consistently want to get to. And they just match up well. I'm telling you, they, there is something to a coach having gone against the team so many times. There is something to the two star players on the team having played a team so many times where there is a sense of, like, we understand how we play that makes it different from other series. With that being said, that's my take on it. Which is fair. The Celtics are better, and their players are better now. They are better. They are better. Yes. What we I agree. What what I had. Miami's better too. What? What? No, they're not. I I, I said. I I said. I think Miami's better. Based on what? What are you basing Miami being better this year than what they were last year? They got a rook that. Based on. Based on. Yeah. I got. I believe. I like. I like. I mean, because I think. I mean, Hawkins is a better basketball player than Max. Than Max is. I think. As a rook. I don't. Show, I wouldn't care. Yeah, he a fifty year old rookie. It's kind of different. He's fifty. You know that. And okay. that's, that's what. See, that's what me and Damo. Yeah. And Damo was mm-hmm. saying before mm-hmm. the season started. He played. Sure. He played four years at UCLA in that the Pac twelve. That means something. in the Pac twelve. So I mean something. Yeah. He's not. Yeah. He's not a reg, He's not a regular rookie. Jaime Jaime right. Hawkins to me is is a better basketball player than Max Cruz. Might not be right. a better shooter. He's a better basketball player. Yeah, Terry right. Rozier can actually can actually play as where. Mr. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Kyle, Kyle Lowry. Lowry. Kyle right. Lowry couldn't really. And I, I was still, I was still trying to show Kyle Lowry some love these past couple of seasons, based on right. him taking timely charges, being a good floor right. general. But All Terry Rozier, yeah. Terry mm-hmm. Rozier is much better than, than him. I, right. I mean, yes. and, and uh, not only that, not only that, but much. I'm assuming that hopefully Tyler Hero can stay healthy for throughout, not break his wrist again in the in the, in the first game issue. of the playoffs. That's, you know what I mean? So, so with so with the bro, and, 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 and Bam and Bam and Bam out of Bam out of bio. Bam out of bio continues to get better. That's a fact. All those all those guys you brought up with the exception of Jaime, they they have a lot of defensive question marks, which is concerns. How many did they did they have those question marks last year? They did. Um, well, Tyler, did. Well, Tyler didn't play though. last year, and Terry Rozier wasn't there, so 
Right. Well, they had the best. Uh, Max Strus still Eastern wasn't a crazy positive last year. A lot of bench, though, to, yeah, to, but to be fair. they have Max Strus and Gabe Vincent have less defensive question marks than Tyler Hero and Terry Rozier, and I understand the offensive upside they have. But I, I think if you're, if you're trying to match up, I agree, I agree. And if you're trying to match up with Boston, the way you're probably going to have to defend, how do you balance having a good enough offense to still compete? while not sacrificing all your defense? How do you play Duncan Robertson, Tyler Hero, Terry Rozier? I mean, the only answer to that question is Jimmy Butler. But you remember, that you remember level. Duncan Robinson had like that first round, like a 100. He was torching. That yeah, yeah he was, no, was. I'm not working. arguing against right. offensively. I'm saying how do, you get, how do you keep yeah. them all on the floor defensively to where you can get that offensive value? Okay, I don't, I, 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 don't, I, I don't know the answer to that, Mars, but I know that I know, I know Coach, Eric Spoelstra probably does. Like, but. yeah, Coach, Coach Spoelstra knows. I have no idea, but Eric Spoelstra does, and I I, I, can, I believe in that. Here, I think the answer is, is you is play the like, Boston's tendencies as a team, right? All all year long, what we've been saying is Boston is three happy, three happy, three happy, right? If Boston right. is not going to the Porzingis, you know, thing, and I've seen it against. The top defenses so, so far, right, Vegas. right. They they let it happen to where down the stretch they're not going to Porzingis enough. We've seen it many many different times. If they're not blitzing their opponent out of the gym, sometimes they don't go to their bailout option. So it becomes a question of okay, if they're not consistently going for the advantages and they're just turning it in, into jump shot, jump shot, jump shot and they're not quality looks, and they're more so settling, that opens it up to where, okay, sure, these guys might structurally not be good individual defenders, but in the Heat scheme, they're able to get away with it. Last year, they did more of the same because Max Struess and also Gabe Vincent were not these crazy positive defenders. Right. I think the difference this year, the difference this year Miami being the zone-heavy team that they are, and the fact that now Boston has that guy in the, in the middle – of that zone, he can play make not only just play make, he can knock down mid range shots, bring Bam away from the basket. That makes them <laughs> way more viable than they but were. Miami, <laughs> but Miami, Miami take away the middle of the well, they take away the middle of the zone, <laughs> better than it anyway. So, yeah, yeah it was funny, <laughs> bro. bro they they are going to put Boston in a situation <laughs> where you have Chris Ass Porzingis away. Right? From the top. I've been watching Boston all year, right? right. What, what often happens, especially versus <laughs> Denver, Denver did this too, right? KP will catch the ball, not necessarily in the paint, but closer to the top of the nail near the three-point line, and they'll have himself create from there. Now, can he hit those shots? Yes, but those are not the same looks as KP being dead in the middle of of the paint using right. that mismatch. Hold on. But we're about, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold but on, Maya, hold on. but yeah, Miami yeah. don't just give up the Mark, middle of thank, their zone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mark, Mark. That's right what there, I'm right saying. There, right Mark. That's right what there. I'm saying. Because right. there's, 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 there's this misnomer about the Miami Heat that they're just right. going to give you what you're good at, by the way. Right. They're so, not going yeah. to give you anything either. They're not okay. going to. Right. They're not going to beat themselves with the bad scheme chill. I agree. I agree. Here's the difference. I agree. But here's the difference with that, though, Swipe. But the difference with that is that Boston does shoot the long ball. Good. Only, right. Shoot the long ball versus right. Miami. It's gonna be the same result as last year. Shoot the it. Reason why, the reason why you go into the, the reason why you game go series into, that could have gone either way. I mean, nah, 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 stop, stop, no. Derek White said that series. Derek White said that series. Derek White said that series. I'm with Mark. Derek White said that series in game six. He got a rebound. Get a rebound. The reason why Derek White did say that series in game six. This is this is true. Of course he did. Of course that is factual. The reason why you go into zone is because you are deficient or because the team yeah. can't shoot. So if you're gonna yes. if you're gonna allow Boston to shoot the long ball, Boston is gonna shoot the long ball. Go so, ahead. They're gonna be okay. contested three pointers. Contested. Okay, so I'm, I'm I'm glad I'm glad they're you gonna brought get that up. I'm, 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 I'm glad you, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up that they're gonna be contested. So that means that guess what's open in the middle of the zone. No, no, that's not how they yes. play. That's not how they play. That's, that's exactly not how Miami play. play. That's not how Miami play. 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 Yes. That's they get very, no. they get very too good. You're too crazy. Hold on, hold on. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. talk. Let me talk. The man that flew Ooh, too close to the chill. sun. The man who flew too close to the sun. You don't know what you're talking about, chill. Miami don't play basketball that way. They go zone up. They go contest a three. And look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. I'm the captain now. Look at me. This is the thing. Bam out of bio versus Christoph Porzingis, <laughs> Al Horford. Look at me. 
Look, look at me, but I'm speaking to you. He's looking at you. He's looking to his left. Yeah, he's actively looking at you. He he, at he's you. looking at you, gang. Okay? I'm he telling you. Look at I'm you. telling you. Watch this. It's going to be light. It's going to be a light show. You're going to be looking at me and show like, I can't believe why they did that down the stretch. Why is Porzingis not getting the ball more? Because he can't. Who are we posting up? Who are we posting up? No, 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 no. Okay. Who are we posting up? So, with that being said, with everything that you said, which is fair. Boston does a good job in exploiting mismatches. They get switches. Miami does switch. Why do you think that they did what they did against Oklahoma City a couple of nights ago? Why do you think they did what they did against I'm not going to lie, chill, so chill, 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 chill. Listen, listen, listen. I get your passion, but I'm just saying, if you go back and you watch how they matched up with the Denver Nuggets, I went back and I watched these games, bro. When we're talking about mismatches, when they had Chris S. Porzingis settling for mid-range self-creation shots near the nail, not deep in the paint, those are not great looks. He had hands in his face, and right? I, and when I'm, you saw Jason, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. When you saw Jason Tatum finding the switch and settling for the mid range shot, but we've seen all year long where he right. has bigger bodies on him. When we saw him versus Cleveland settling for a long fall away mid range over Darius Garland, we saw that right. in the playback. When you see things like that, you're aiding what Miami wants to do. The That's regular season point. is over in 12 days, chill. You got a reckoning coming. All that talking that you've been doing, talking about top two MVP candidate, oh, best right. team in the East and all that stuff. There's a top reckoning coming. Candidate. This is the problem. This is the season. Jimmy Butler and Bam and them, they don't care and play for the regular season. They're going to get into the playoffs, and they are going to be leaning into their scheme. Every single game you see from me, we're gearing up to stop you. You. I'm not worried about the Washington Wizards. I'm not worried about the Charlotte Hornets. I'm not worried about the Western Conference. I know exactly what Tatum, Brown, and Drew want to do. I know exactly what they want to do, and I know who you are. I see you, Joe Missoula. You're going to finish ahead of, of Eric Spolcher for Coach of the Year this year, and Eric Spolcher's going to get into a series, and he's going to run circles around you, Eric just like I'm running circles around Joe right now. So this is the problem. We're going to get into this boxing match inside of this phone booth, and I guarantee, Chill, if it's me versus you, this ain't no big three. It's just a big me. Guarantee now, you ain't coming out of now, here. You now, ain't coming out of here. You ain't coming out of here. Now, it's over, so, Cole. It's over, Cole. It's over, Cole. It's over, Cole. All right, what you got, J. Cole? What you got, J. Cole? What you got? So now everything that you just said, you leaving out everything that Miami has to do that they didn't do this season. So we're talking about a same Miami Heat team who's still at the bottom of the at the bottom of the league offensively. We're still to, we're still talking about the Miami Heat who's not very good in the post, even 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 with. How good Bam is. We're talking about Jimmy Butler and all of these guys having the guard at a high level throughout the playoffs. What do the Miami Heat have to do for the second year in a row with an improved Boston Celtic team? What they was in a dog fight with last year. What they have to do for a second year in a row is too much of a hill to climb. They have to shoot it at the astronomical rate that they shot it at last year. They got to defend at the astronomical rate that they did last year. They got to defend in the post. Better than what they did last year. They got to score it at a higher rate because now we're talking about a Boston Celtic team who was better offensively. They not only have to match that, they have to be better than that this season. I don't see it happening.